Hello everyone, uh, in this video I am going to talk about NS Archiver. What is NS Archiver, NS Keyed Archiver, NS, and, um, NS Keyed Un Unarchiver. So what you can do is you can actually take some of your data and archive it, encode it and save it inside a file in your document directory. You can also retrieve it and update it and save it again. So you, it's more like encoding and decoding files into your documents directory let's go ahead and see how it this is, is done specifically so let me go ahead and make a new project and I will call it Kyver create it Once I have the project, delete the. Pro so once I have the project, uh, I can just go ahead and go to the view controller. If I run this project right now in the simulator, it will run pretty fine. This is just a. Uh, just app delegate just to view controller uh, template so it's just gonna draw the window and the view controller and let it do that by the, while it's doing it we show you what you need for NS archiver the first thing we need is get the path of the document directory that I can do by saying the same thing that we did in my in the previous video you can just look through that and this user domain this is pretty much the standard is trying to open the X simulator yes and takes care of the path and is string star say documents directory equal to paths object at index 0 and next what we need is the name of the file file equal to say documents directory string by appendant component call it test dot text Mm. So once I have that, next for a for a for a key archiver, what you need is a NS mutable data. It's mutable data. So what I will do is I will just go ahead and create uh, NS mutable data and save it. Now once I create it, and then next what I do is will initialize a key archiver star call it archiver and I will say ns key archiver allocate and in it for writing mutable data which data am I writing in it that is the one defined above so you think that I'm gonna use that data to archive things inside it so suppose I want to save a string my name say give it give the name and once I'm done with this object I can just archive this object inside the archiver by saying encode and it's not an end it's object so I will just say object what is the name of the object my name for key at the rate just give it some name give the same name so we understand so once I'm done with that, I can add one bunch of different things inside my archiver. Once I'm done with the with the archiver, what I will the command that I give is archiver. Then I say hmm, finish encoding. So I'm done with encoding, and then I say bool. I will make a variable to see if it saves the data. Data type to file 
what was my name of my file was my string file which we created here test.text so I'm pretty much saving it, saving it there atomically yes either save it completely or don't save it at all that's why I do that and then I say archiver release and data release it's pretty much what you do for archiving your your uh, objects now if I want to unarchive it how would I do it uh, something similar but decoding so I will initially say nest data star data elements I'm just reading things out of the out of the archived files allocate and in it with contents of file what is the name of the file string file so I'm trying to get to load that file that I created and then what I will do is ns key unarchiver I'll make the unarchiver object and I will tell ns key unarchiver alloc in it for reading data what data I'm gonna read from data element so I will give that once I'm once I've initialized that I can just print whatever is inside that if I know the for our case we had the string so I can just say un archiver and then I say decode since I encoded that object I'll say decode that object uh, for key what is the key that I give my name if you see here this is the name that I gave exactly same thing I have to copy here once I'm done that, this is how you unarchive. Now, if I run this project, let's go ahead and run this project and see what do we get. So it's archives first, the entire process, this process, and then it will unarchive. And let's see, we've been on So that's what I had. That's what it read out. And that's how we do NS archived archiver and ar archiving and unarchiving to files in Xcode. Next we will be looking in next couple of videos I'm going to show you uh, SQL first and the second one is core data how to use those with some simple examples a lot of requests have been coming so I have to get it done pretty quickly for you guys uh, thanks for watching and if you have any questions leave the comments uh, and subscribe to my videos thank you